April 9th. Today's April 9th. I'm going for the uh, land rail bike speed record. There's two people at the park that are going to laugh at me, but that's okay. <laughs> So that's how we store it, baby. For out the shock and no play at all. Ah. Yep. Even if the shock is open, you're good. We feel that this is going to be the final version because we have implemented all improvements from all of the versions. Braden is with us. I don't remember, Braden, what were you known for in the previous episodes? I know Sean was known for breaking the bike. What are you known for? I was fall I fell off it too. He actually, you were the first person that attempted to ride it without the outrigger. And we had it in the video. And there's, I don't know if you know, there's a guy in the comments. I can't remember his name. I never can remember his name, but he constantly wants me to ride it with just the front wheel guide, not the outrigger. Yeah. And it's really tough. But anyway, it's impossible we're not doing that today. Here's the update on the design. This outrigger has stayed the same. And the reason why it stayed the same is that it works. I know a couple of you think that the bolt is going to break. Um, I have a new design for the joint. I've mentioned it before, but it doesn't like, it's going to look like that. There's nothing more that we're doing fancy about that. Um, we're going to use a stiffer material, stronger joint, and maybe one wheel. That's staying. Now the adjustment is interesting here, and we've implemented a couple things that we changed from the previous one, which was already pretty good. So it's the same setup for the wheels, one in the center, two on the sides, but you will see that now each of these is just a water jet cut piece, and these two are bent. Um, and the reason why I did that is these screws allow fine adjustment back and forth. And the fine adjustment was what was missing before. Don't worry, I'm gonna trim these off and they'll look all nice when it's done. So now with all that adjustment, we should be good. Secondly, we added stiffeners down the side. So it's tough to see, but I cut out the 3 16 aluminum plate and then I cut some slots and you can see on the back there, I actually hammered in these stiffener plates. So this is like a piece of like T-bar now from the side. Number three, we no longer have the slot. We do not have the slot down here. I have three different holes for the three different size of wheels that we could potentially use this on. I have 29s. Well, these are 27 and a half plus and a 27 and a half plus wheel has a 29 inch uh, outer circumference. That's why we're using this. You can do 27 and a half regular or 26. Upgrade number four. I don't remember if that was number four or not, but <clears throat> we no longer have the 3D printed spacers on each side. We got rid of those. And now through the use of adjustment here, this can move in and out to whatever your wheel width is because we want this to be universal. And then the biggest upgrade. Now it doesn't look like it's an upgrade because we've got these janky bungee cords, but we found that the confidence level of riding fast was based on how likely or how unlikely it is for the device to leave the rail. And the old one just used gravity. So what we've done here is we've cut past the center line back here. And I actually had planned on using some Titan straps here, but they were a little bit too short and they're in the bag over there. But I found these old, like 300 year old bungee cords in the back of my car. So we've just put it there and we've attached the handlebars. And then that applies a force, actually, oh sorry, that applies a force up, which holds this down, which means that, you know, this shouldn't be able to leave the track. That's it, this is gonna work perfectly, we should have no issues. Braden's gonna do the maiden voyage this time.
<laughs> it's, it's always difficult to get on. How's it feel? All right. <laughs> it's better than version two that you tried, eh? Good thing we got the extra wheels. Yeah. Well, it's pretty, we can adjust it to come in there. It's way tighter if you want. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like that's pretty loose actually. I don't want to do a speed record with that. Do a speed record this way, and then speed record back. That's the plan. We've tightened up the wheels. Confidence is high. See more sturdy than before? It really is, eh? Okay. Alright, let's go. Fuck it. Other way? Other way. doing the bend, Brady's doing speed record on the bend, but I found something amazing for you guys. Who remembers the Gucci bag? The Gucci bag. How is it? That's nice, eh? You're gonna have the time of your life on this thing. Now there's a learning curve to it for sure. Yeah, the rail got fat. So nice. What do you think of it, man? Love it. It's pretty good, eh? Yeah. Speed record attempt. Three. Oh, I'm already in a high gear. I can't just get a good gear. as I want to go. That's a solid speed. <laughs> like that's, that's, I don't know how much faster you'd want to go, man. See how fast Brandon feels comfortable going. That's why like good. even like five pounds of weight yeah. isn't bad on that very, side. Very simple, yeah. Okay. I think we've done it, man. I'm gonna let's do another, I'm gonna give it one more long haul down here.
get it this year, man. Today is April, what is the date today? April 9th. Today's April 9th, I'm going for the uh, land rail bike speed record. There's two people at the park that are gonna laugh at me, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, that's the big gear. confidence we're building confidence by using this thing if we had something uh, if, we, if I didn't have to use these janky bungees I feel much more confident just want to make sure that when we're going that fast we don't have a, a derailment Bad, eh? We're putting her away. She's going away. Oh. So we're breaking it down. We have pneumonia and we'll finish up at the shop. Oh, where, it's, it. where it's warmer. Oh, where it's it. Braden approved. Braden approved. Well, the question is likely going to be what's next? I guess, you know, in summary, um, I think it's done for the most part. Maybe some minor tweaks here and there. Um, but I believe that we now know like the philosophy behind it. You know, what's actually required. Do you need an outrigger? Don't you need an outrigger? Where do you need adjustment? What kind of adjustment? Um, I don't see it changing drastically in terms of like the, the design, to be honest. Some geometry might change. I'm not too sure. What I am going to do is on this guy, I'll probably refine this a little bit. I mean, it's pretty clunky and ugly, no big deal. These things can stay. There's a little bit of rubbing actually here on the fork. So I'm gonna grind this, this portion down and I'm gonna get the straps to uh, longer straps, longer tightened straps to go around the uh, neck of the handlebars to keep that down. On the outrigger, um, I'm just not going to change this because it works fine until I learn a little bit more about it. I have noticed that I feel like it's better to have like it wider than like, like more wheels. So there's a little bit of play. I'm really nervous about derailing at a high speed. I don't want to like hurt myself. Um, I am, I actually have, I have designed a custom rear axle for this to attach to. And I'll probably change this uh, material and geometry of the actual tube. This is just a tube that I had lying around. So I will be redesigning the outrigger, but the actual geometry with the wheels and stuff like that might not change a whole lot. I don't see how I could really improve it. I just need to make it stiffer. Uh, and to be honest, I'd like to make it lighter. And then I would also like to figure out how to attach it to the bike while I ride it. So this is gonna stay here for now. And my next step is I need to research um, a section of railway that is longer than what we currently have there um, that I can try this on. Uh, I'm not really interested in uh, giving it a go on a live railroad, even though a bunch of comments are like, you're gonna die. You know, like, I mean, if you guys build a rail bike and you, go on, and you go ride on live tracks, you get hit by a train. I don't know, man, it's not really my fault. That's your fault. You should know better than to do that. So I am gonna try and find a very long length of abandoned railroad that's close to yours. If you do know somewhere, then um, you know, shoot me a comment or let me know in the comments where this railroad is. I want to go on like a 20 to 30 or 40 kilometer rail bike journey before my big trip just to make sure that we've got all of the bugs worked out um, and then I can make kind of like a really pretty final version. So next video will likely be the rail bike journey.
Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a super fun time developing kind of this thing. Um, maybe gives you a little bit of insight in like the type of stuff that I do in my spare time. I know I'm weird, but that's just what I do. So I don't know, you know, the old like, subscribe, watch, whatever you want to do on YouTube. Take care.